Lois, can you pour my juice? I can't lift my arm. I still can't believe Brian bit you. It just doesn't seem like him. Oh, yeah, because you know him so well. Shut your face. Oh, uh, hey, Brian. <laughs> Get out of that chair. Leave the eggs. But this is my breakfast. <laughs> yeah! Honey, when did Peter Griffin take up jogging? I don't know, dear. By the way, we're the couple who lives a few blocks away. We now return to an 80s teen movie at a realistic high school. You going down at that karate tournament? I don't think so. You guys do karate? You're both losers. Uh, uh, morning, sir. So, Peter, I assume if you're watching TV, that means you already did all my chores? Uh, I sure did, sure did. I scared off the mailman, threatened Quagmire's cat, and I even took your bath for you. Now, I'm just gonna reach for the shampoo. No jumping out. Ah, he's got Rupert! Hey, drop it! Drop it! Drop it! All right, I need you to buy a birthday present for my friend Jeff. He likes the Packers and surfing. Enough is enough, Peter. The dog's not in charge of this house. First thing tomorrow, I'm taking Brian to obedience school so we can get him back under control. You know, sending him to school wouldn't be the worst idea. He might even enjoy it. I know I had a blast in college. Man, I love college. So many chicks, so many parties. Yeah, <laughs> totally. I'm supposed to meet the RA for coffee later in the common room, but until then, I'm just going to walk around with my shower caddy and see what people wrote on their whiteboards. <laughs> Listen up, maggots. You're in my house now. There are no belly scratches here. There are no table scraps. What we have here are good dogs. No bandana wearing frisbee catching hippie dogs. No parking lot hind leg dancing YouTube dogs. No crime solving camera mugging Scooby Dooby dogs. Oh, no Scooby Doo, huh? <laughs> roll, roll. Oh, it seems we got us a comedy dog. Are you Kathy Griffin? Cause I ain't laughing. So maybe you are Kathy Griffin. Or maybe you're that comedy dog with Robert Smigel's hand up your backside. Well, let me tell you something, comedy dog. You're here for me to poop on. All right, first of all, it seems like you have a lot of opinions about a lot of comedians. And second of all... Oh! That hurts! That's right. Silent and terrible. Like the artist. I watch a lot of TV and movies. I am your media-savvy worst nightmare. Now down on all fours like the rest of them. That's right. We got ways to break your spirit. In fact, you seem like a prime candidate for the chair. <laughs> Honey, did you hear a dog scream? Yes, I did, dear. Our summer cabin is near the obedience school. Hey, Brian, you're back. Come on in. Uh, in inside? Are you, are, are you sure? Yeah, what, what, what do you think? I'm going to make you stay in the yard? Get in here. Sir? If it takes the rest of my life, I will repay you. Who's this puss? Oh, no, no, no. I'm, I'm not a cat. I'm, I'm a dog. I'm your pet. And, and I'm just happy to be here. Brian, what did they do to you at that school? Y you're so submissive. Yes, looks like someone's gone at him with a whip. That, that, is, that is a perfectly valid way of saying that. Bravo, master. Master? And a surprisingly quick erection for Stewie. There you go. You look very dapper, sir. Thanks, Brian. God, I love the new you. That obedience school really schooled you in obedience. <gasps> That's why it's called that. Permission to take fast, tiny bites of my own tail, sir? Granted. You wearing a bow tie? What's the occasion? No occasion, Lois. I just want to piss a couple of guys off. What the hell are you doing? You think you're better than us? No way you died that on your own. <laughs> 